Hi, I'm Trish Flanagan. I'm from the Academy of Visual Arts, Hong Kong Baptist University. And what I do there is I run a wearables lab. We're looking at the idea of haptic interfaces and a big focus is transdisciplinary research. So bringing together people from different, different practices to really just play, think and play and hands-on rather than you know reading and going to the library, but hands-on playing with things as a way to develop and think about what new technologies could be. So when, you, when I'm saying haptic interface, I'm interested in the body and how that you know, relates to the world around it. So in my particular work, I'm um, particularly interested in, in biodata, so using the body's biodata and interfacing directly with a computer. In that, I'm interested in the way artists and artisans and craftspeople have been working with technology, whether it's weaving or whether it's knitting or whether it's um, you know, using a hammer and basic tools. That, you know, these are all just the way we adapt and work with technology, so linking linking those kind of technologies to, to develop new sorts of technologies. This is called Blinklithia, um, and the idea here is the biodata that it's collecting is um, your blinking, so it connects to the eyes through conduct conductive eyelashes and conductive makeup, and so when you wink, you sw you're switching on or switching off the, the, the lights. So basically when you close your eyes, you turn off the lights and when you open your eyes you send it a light. So we, we read a lot of information um, from people's eye gestures and here it's just amplifying them and what's interesting to me is it's without conscious thought so I'm not thinking I want to send a message through my headdress and so you know in Morse code I'm going to do this this that that but rather you can um, you can I, I'm amplifying those normal gestures so am I agitated is, are my eyes you know or, or have I got a psychological disorder or these sort of things by just blowing them up um, can be quite interesting so I'm not really interested in a, in a product right now but really thinking about how we can connect with with technologies um, so other pieces I'm working with do things like work with I've got a, a snook hood which wakes you up if you start snoring so you know it just monitors monitors actually the, the, the sound so it's a vibration sensor and when it starts hearing that that rhythm of a snore it just sends a little buzz in the side of your head without waking up your partner so some of them are just silly games. What's beautiful about this wearables lab is that it's not coming from a fashion design background, it's not coming from a computer science background, because those, when they come together, they speak such different languages, you get kind of awkward things. In this safe space of the art school, we get a really new and fresh approach where the concept is really, really, so we're, we're integrating the design right from the concept you know, rather than sticking the technology on the dress or the technology that has no aesthetic kind of sensibility, here by bringing these different disciplines together to play right from the start and just do what's interesting, um, amazing things are happening. So, yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks.